Georgia suburban homestead looking into the fig tree and we see some big figs and then look. We got little bitty ones. Little coming. bitty ones coming for a second flush of fruit. And it's like that all over this tree. Yeah. Um, we were complaining we weren't getting many figs. And yeah. if all these develop, we'll, we'll have, have two flushes. Wow. Not a huge amount of figs. Not a huge amount, but uh, we'll take it. Oh, there's figs everywhere. I'll take it. Yeah. Look at all those. That is a larger mountain, Charlie. You just... Yeah. You're going to be figged out. <laughs> Jelly jam, whatever it's called. Jelly jam. Dry them. <laughs> he was upset that I trimmed his tree last year, and I told him, I was told if you trim it, it produces more. Man, it really does make a difference. I don't see anything on these branches. Yeah, no, at least there's one little one coming right there. One little one right up in there? Yeah. But you got what Charlie calls headbangers over here. <laughs> Look. Cool. Got a question for you. You see the fig tree up above the fence line? That looks wilted to me. Whereas the other one coming up over the fence isn't. But what would cause a whole tree to wilt? It was fine last night. I sure hope something else can cut through the trunk. I don't know what would cause that other than something at ground level. Charlie's going to go see if he can see what the problem is. Ever seen anything like that? A whole tree wilting. We had rain overnight, so we shouldn't be having wilting. Bamsie? Got something eating the bark. Something eating the bark? Yeah. At the, bo at the base? Well, that tree came up and it put out some sides and the, the piece going toward straight up yeah. rotted back. And so it looks like this T, it comes up and it splits into two pieces and it goes like that. And right where that T is, the bark has come off and you can tell that the inner, um, the inner wood is starting to rot. And you got all sorts of worms where that wood and that bark come together. So you've got a beetle or a worm eating into the tree. Yeah. Looks so I'm like... I'm probably going to have to take that one out. Yeah. Anyway. That's too bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, it's never produced fruit for us, so we'll figure out something else to put there. <laughs>